You're listening to My Devotional, the daily devotional from Dr. Michael Youssef and Leading the Way. What Heaven is Like by Dr. Michael Youssef. In heaven, we will see Jesus face to face. There will be no barriers, no limitations to seeing the reality of our Lord. Of course, without Jesus, heaven wouldn't be heaven. But praise God, Jesus is in heaven, and he's preparing a place for us there. One day, he will come back and take us to our eternal home. When we close our eyes one final time on this earth, we'll also experience uninterrupted fellowship with our loved ones who have gone before us in faith. Now, you might have heard that your departed loved ones are asleep until Jesus returns. Maybe it's been called a state of unconsciousness or a soul sleep. But that is not in Scripture. The Bible does speak about those who have fallen asleep, but only as a metaphor to illustrate an important truth. Because Jesus died for us, our deaths are merely temporary. Because of his sacrifice, we can say with Paul, death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? You can read more about that in 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty-four through 55. So when you get to heaven, all your loved ones who died in Christ will be there, and you will be reunited, never to be separated again. In heaven, there will also be no more brokenness. Here, we experience broken careers, marriages, reputations, dreams, friendships, and on and on. And when we suffer these losses, it's easy for us to tumble into despair and hopelessness. But the resurrected Jesus will completely redeem and renew all things. In heaven, we will enjoy full restoration in the presence of Jesus. In fact, in heaven, there will be no more sorrow, no more grief, only joy. Revelation 21.4 says, God will wipe every tear from our eyes and there will be no more mourning or crying or pain. We all go through discouragement and despair in this life, but these trials can never survive the journey to heaven. Finally, there will be no more death. Death can be a frightening prospect, but on Easter morning, Christ canceled its power. Now, for the Christian, death is nothing more than a change of address. It's moving from the basement to the penthouse. Once we cross over to heaven, death no longer has power over us. Indeed, Christ, our life and resurrection, declared in Revelation 118, I am the living one. I was dead, and now look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. Amen belongs here. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for defeating death and preparing an eternal home, a perfect home for us with you in heaven. This truth gives us strength for today as we trust in your promises. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. To take a deeper dive into today's devotional topic, check the show notes for links to additional resources. And while you're there, subscribe to the My Devotional Podcast so you never miss an episode. My devotional is a ministry of leading the way with Dr. Michael Youssef. To learn more, visit ltw.org today.